bugs. They can be creepy and crawly, but they're also beautiful and oftentimes whimsical. In this class, we're pulling beauty direct from nature and creating perfectly symmetrical modern folk art inspired insects right on our iPads using Affinity Designer. First, we'll take a look at Boolean operations, which allow you to create a wide array of shapes using geometry. Now don't worry, no math skills are needed. Designer does all the work for you, and I'll show you how you can use these operations to combine multiple objects to create complex shapes for your insect designs. Next, I'll show you how I use the Symbol Studio to set up my background layers so I can add perfectly symmetrical elements behind my insect shapes. Then I'll show you how to use that same method to set up your bug shapes, creating a set of symmetrical wings that will allow you to add an object to one side so that it's automatically added to the other in a mirrored fashion. After we create our bug shapes, we'll begin to add beautiful botanical elements and texture to our insects, giving them depth and dimension. I'll show you how I use a mix of assets and the built-in drawing tools to add both simple and complex shapes to my insect illustrations. This intermediate class follows my last class all about using my Symbol Symmetry method to create symmetrical vector floral illustrations using Designer's Symbol Studio. While you'll be able to follow along with the process in this class, if you'd like to know more detail about how symbols work and the various ways that you can use them, I recommend taking that class first. When you take this class, you'll receive as a free download my Modern Folk Art Insects Assets Pack filled with single layer vector insect floral and leaf shapes that I created especially for the class. You can add color and texture to these assets and use them to create your own whimsical modern folk art inspired bug creations. The project for this class will be to create your very own modern folk art insect illustration using the symbol symmetry method I teach in the class. You can use any of the methods I demonstrate to add color, texture, and dimension to your illustration and bring your insect to life. I'd love to see what you create, and it's always helpful for others considering the class to see what can be achieved by taking it, so I'd love it if you'd share your projects to the class project section. I'm looking forward to seeing what you create, so let's get started.